Um, these rockets are moving today. Two field goals oh, are Mr. Hamlin. Columbo, what is it? Sure going great guys today, aren't we? Uh, they love it. Go, go. I'll tell the coach. Kind words from a loyal fan are very rare. This ding ling ice cream concession? That's the best in town. Don't ever change that. <clears throat> All right, Columbo. Now, what do you want? Uh, I've got something to show you, sir. Won't take long. Oh, those shoes feel better. Boy, they're giving a lot of trouble earlier. Columbo, I'm trying to watch this game. What is that? You know, you did the same thing the first time I came in here. Last Sunday. I guess that's what started me wondering. I did what? You turned the radio down, but not quite off. When I told you that Eric Wagner was dead. It's all right, I do the same thing. You know, when I'm listening to a game and my wife interrupts, I can't help myself. I want to hear that game, and I don't care how important the interruption. Your wife has my sympathy. However, when I told you about the fresh water on the decking, when I told you that Eric Wagner might have been murdered, you know what you did? Turn the radio completely off. Well, I thought I struck a chord or something. No, Columbia, you struck out. Now, will you please go find somebody else to pester? I won't take long, sir. Actually, I just came here to talk about Miss Rogoshi. Who? You know, Miss Babcock. That was the lady who kept trying to call you at the house. And then later on, you phoned her from the airport. What are you talking about? Well, you did try to call her, didn't you? I mean, you wanted to tell her that be quiet about something, something like that. I don't that. even know anybody named Rock, or whatever it is. Well, I spoke to her last night. And you see, when I saw the type of woman that she was, it suddenly occurred to me why you were in such a hurry to rush out of that house and get to an outside phone. And the only reason that could have been was because you already knew that the phones in that house were bugged. You did know, didn't you? Wait, 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 wait. You don't seriously expect me to tell you anything now. I don't expect you to admit anything, sir. Admit? But you see, when I saw the type of lady that she was and that she liked to have her bed buttered on both sides, well, well she practically admitted it. <laughs> I don't believe you. You really something. And I'm sure Miss Rogozzi is going to do a lot more talking when she knows that this is really a murder. And it really is, sir. This is a murder case. There is no question about it. Oh, look, he did it again. I guess you just can't help yourself. Columbo, I'm gonna throw you out of here on your ear. I wouldn't do that, sir. I mean, you'll miss the best part. You see, I'm not finished. The point is this. Uh... <clears throat> yeah. You see, the point is this. If you knew that house was bugged, then you also knew that you could use those phones to set up your perfect alibi. What you want to call an alibi is the truth. Jesus, why can't you get that? I knew I had to break that alibi. They're on the tensor. Oh, yeah, I knew until I'd broken that alibi, none of these other things would mean much. But now, look, they scored a touchdown. But now what? You don't mind listening to last week's game again, do you, sir? Why? Well, just by coincidence, happens to be exactly the same time that you made that second phone call to Eric. Number Here we go. Back in their exactly 2.29, just a minute or two before he was murdered. You know, I listened to this thing, I can't tell you how many times, over and over again, figuring maybe I'd hear something that shouldn't be there. Some sound that shouldn't be there, an ambulance, a fire truck, like if you were in a phone booth, something. But you didn't because it isn't there. I made the call from this booth, from that phone. Hey, kid, I'm sorry, I was a little hard on you. Then it suddenly came. I had it back. Maybe there was a sound that should be there. And what? Like what? Something right in front. Is your head clear yet? What kind of sound? Oh shh. I'm up by the pool now. But are you in it yet? Will 20 more laps satisfy you? I told you I'd be ready, didn't I? Now get off my back, Hamlin. Pick me up at 5:30. Got that?